Bangalore is an OG legend from season one. I've seen a lot of people play her and honestly, I see her being played incorrectly slash not being used to her full potential. So here's a full pro guide on how to play Bangalore. Get ready for a world of hurt. Sergeant First Class Anita Williams, 4013846. Call sign Bangalore. This former military- Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Yopi and I'm bringing you another pro guide. We're gonna be going over Bangalore. As I said in the intro, I seen a lot of people using her incorrectly and not maximizing her to her full potential. So without further ado, let's get right into the video as always make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on hit that like button if the guide helps you out and make sure you follow the twitch stream i've been streaming some apex ranked every night i'm in diamond right now i'm going for pred we got masters last split so let's get to it first up let's break down her kit bangalore is an offensive legend great with any play style her smoke launcher is great at breaking line of sight deploying a smoke screen that can be used to retreat or double down on an attack her passive double time gives her a speed boost when shot at or if grenades are thrown near her. Her ultimate rolling thunder provides her and the team with a mortar strike that sticks into the ground and covers an area with denial slash zoning capabilities. Okay, let's talk about the tactical of the smoke launcher. Fire a high velocity smoke canister that explodes into a smoke wall on impact. The cooldown is 33 seconds. It's also gotten a buff recently, which means the smoke lasts longer and it's a bit thicker and bigger than before. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Has two charges, allowing it to be used twice in a row or saving it for later. The launcher allows Bangalore to fire canisters farther than grenades can be thrown. You can also use the smoke grenade on Octane's bounce pads. Upon landing, the canister splits into three, which lands in a line perpendicular to where it was launched from. It takes 23 seconds to evaporate. The canister's explosion deals 10 damage to enemies if hit near it. Melee or switch guns to cancel the launch. Let's talk about some interactions with the smoke. The launcher can be used at the same time as other actions, firing, reloading, healing, etc. Threat highlighters such as the 1x digi threat or the 4 to 10x digi sniper threat or Bloodhound's Beast of the Hunt can see through the smoke. Watson's interception pylon can shoot down the smoke canisters. Watson's security fences can't be seen through the smoke. You can also see them through the smoke when Sears alt slash tactical highlights them. Some tips with the smoke launcher. The smoke launcher can be used both offensively and defensively to ambush an unsuspecting squad by removing their ability to see you and respond, or as a weapon of escape to obscure yourself and your team from enemies. Bangalore can also use a smoke canister while she is currently using a consumable item such as a med kit or shield battery as both only require one hand. Use this to your advantage to cover yourself while you heal. The smoke can be seen by other teams from some distance and attract them. The smoke should be on the enemy, not your team. The smoke can also be between you and the enemy, effectively acts as a visual barrier between you and the enemy. I can't stress enough how many times I'm in a freaking house, especially in Fragment, and my own teammate is smoking the building we're in because that goes through the floors, it blocks the whole floor, and I can't see them that I'm, sh I can't see the people that I'm shooting at outside the window, inside the room, all over. Like, you're just smoking me, man. Smoke the enemy for crying out loud. If the smoke is on your team, the enemy sees everywhere you cannot, but they know generally where you are smoke on the enemy obscures their vision forcing them to move out and possibly disperse to engage while your team retains a wider range of movement and vision giving your team an advantage thus using smoke to cover your team's revive can be considered a gamble as your vision is just as obscured the thing with reviving your teammate is you usually don't want to do it right where your teammate is you want to do it on the los where a team can come from so if you're on a rock for example and you know that a team might come to the right side of the rock i would smoke a bit more to the right side of where you're resing not right on them so that way you've got more chance to escape throw a frag grenade or some explosive device into a smoke screen this will either deal damage to enemies inside it force them to come to you or force them to retreat you can also have caustic's nox gas grenade in the smoke to obscure the enemy's vision and deal damage crouching and hip firing while the smoke launcher is primed will increase your accuracy Next up, let's talk about her passive, the double time. Taking fire while sprinting makes you move faster for a brief time. Double time activates upon being hit or when bullets slash grenades barely miss you, giving you a 30% increase in run speed for two seconds. The passive can activate if enemies shoot at you while inside Gibraltar's dome of protection. Bangalore's passive is a reactive one that responds to enemies engaging you. Utilize the short term speed boost whenever you can either by running for cover or returning fire with the increased speed as, as it makes you a difficult target to hit. If you get double time you can utilize wall bounce slash tap strafing to increase your movement potential. I'll be making a full movement guide in the future but it's going to take some time so stay tuned. Next up let's go over the ultimate rolling thunder. Call in an artillery strike that slowly creeps across the landscape. The charge time is 3 minutes. 
Bangalore throws a flare and several rows of missiles land in front of the flare then stick for six seconds before exploding. Since they land in rows, this creates a wave of explosions moving forward from the flare. The missiles land in a 6x6 square with the maximum distance of 70 meters ahead from the flare. Each explosion deals 40 damage and slows enemies. This ability cannot damage squad mates, but it will still cause a slowing slash stunning effect. Rolling Thunder is referred as Creeping Barrage and Death Recap. Watson's pylon can shoot down both the missiles before landing and the initial flare. Note that unlike grenades which can be held in the throw position by holding down the fire button, the flare will be thrown the instant you press the fire button. Unlike Gibraltar's mortar strike, the missiles land in front of the flare instead of around it, so throw it between you and the area you want to bombard. Rolling Thunder should be best saved for large team engagements or ambushes, or ultimately to cover your team while escaping. It can catch an unsuspecting enemy team off guard and have them running for cover. A good time to use Rolling Thunder is right after downing an enemy in a very long range outdoor fight. It'll make it dangerous for their squad to try to revive them and give your squad space to push into a 3 on 2 fight, thus giving you the upper hand. This ultimate ability isn't independently power enough, powerful enough to be fully effective on its own, so it is strongly recommended to chase the enemy down as they get bombarded. Use it to get enemies camping above you on a roof or a structure. It's also good to throw the mortar strike if you see multiple teams fighting because you could get lucky and down one of them as they won't be able to get out of the mortar strike because they'll be in an engagement together. Overall playstyle. Bangalore is a great legend to run solo queue, but to work her in with a team dynamic is tough. It takes a lot of practice and teamwork to utilize the smoke properly and efficiently. You can be aggressive with bang, apply pressure, and get out with the smoke slash double time. The alt works as a great zoning tool if you are pressed up against a team or if you see teams banging it out together in endgame. You can move around the map well and utilize the double time to increase your movement. Overall, Bangalore is a great mobility legend that allows you to be aggressive and help out your team when needed. Legends that Bangalore works well with. Bloodhound and Seer. Hound can scan through the smoke for your teammates to see and the, ult, and the ult allows Hound to see them through the smoke since they are highlighted red. Seer's tactical can show them through the smoke if they're hit with it and his ult will track them through the smoke allowing your team free shots. You can pretty much run Bang with any comp though as she's a pretty versatile legend. Ranking Bang in the meta. As of right now in Season 10, Bang is a lower pick rate especially in rank. The Mortar Strike just doesn't seem to do enough and the smoke sometimes can screw over you and your team and they're, ju they're just better legends to pick from. I think utilizing Bang to her full potential and playing her the correct way is harder than other legends. However, if you can master her, she can be quite clutch for you and your team. Obviously a great example is Shiv as he mains her and fries everyone in competitive play. But that could also be that Shiv is just really good and he could probably do that with any legend he picks. He just decides to use Bangalore. Now that's it for me for this guide. I hope it helped. Let me know if I missed something in the comments down below. If you found the guide helpful, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button with notifications on. Make sure you check out the Twitch for some Apex rank gameplay. It's your boy Yopes. Hope everyone has a great day and peace out.